guys, welcome back to Bronces Math Club. Today's topic is rates and unit rates. So in this lesson, we'll be learning what exactly a rate is and how we can find unit rates, okay? So to start off with, what is a rate? A rate is a special type of ratio that uses two different quantities and expresses them in two different units. But what does it mean by quantities and units? Well, let's just take a simple example, okay? So let's say that a car can travel 60 miles in one hour, okay? So what is our quantity and what is our units, okay? So, well, our quantity is really our number. So the two different quantities that we have here are 60 and 1. And our units are our miles and our hours. So as you can see, this is a rate. So it's telling us that we can travel 60 miles per hour. The two different quantities are the two numbers, okay? And the units are the units that are being expressed, which are miles and hours, okay? So that's exactly what a rate is, okay? So now here, if we look at our first example, it says, a cook takes 50 minutes to prepare 10 pizzas and find the unit rate. Now, we know what a rate is, but what is a unit rate? Well, here it says, Unit rate is a ratio in which the denominator must be 1. Well, that just means that we know from our previous videos that a ratio it can be expressed as a fraction. So first, what we have to do is write our rate as a fraction, okay? Because after all, it is a ratio, right? So here it says a cook takes 50 minutes to prepare 10 pizzas. So we can write this as 50 over 10, okay? Now we can also we have also have to include our units so it's 50 minutes and 10 pizzas okay so here our quantity is 50 and 10 okay and our units are minutes and pizzas okay now here it says to find the unit rate the ratio I'm sorry the denominator of the ratio must be equal to 1 so that means the denominator of our ratio has to equal 1 now how, what times 1 gives us 10 pizzas? Well, we can find that out by dividing. So 10 divided by 1 is 10 because any number divided by 1 is that number. So 1 times 10 gave us 10. So now what we need to find out is what number times 10 gives us 50. And once again, if we divide 50 by 10, we get 5, okay? So here we are left with 5 over 1, and this is a unit rate because a unit rate has a denominator that is 1. Now if we include our units, five minutes and one pizza. So what this rate is telling us is that it takes the cook five minutes to prepare one pizza or that the cook can make one pizza in five minutes, okay? So that's all what a rate, what a rate sorry, is, okay? So now we've done our first problem, so let's scroll down to our second one. And now it says, Tina can walk 2,000 meters in 50 minutes find the unit rate and once again the same thing so our first step is to write this as a fraction so we'll write 2000 meters over 50 minutes and this must be equal to a unit rate with a denominator of 1 so once again 1 times 50 gave us 50 okay so now what number times 50 will give us 2,000. Well, if we divide 2,000 by 50, we get 40 meters, okay? So here, now what this is telling us is that we, that Tina, sorry, can walk 40 meters in one minute or that it takes Tina one minute to walk 40 meters, okay? So that that's our rate, okay? Our unit rate. And our last example says, a teacher can grade 60 tests in two hours, find the unit rate. Once again, same thing. So first, we know that a rate is a ratio, so it can be written as a fraction. So 60 over 2, and we have to include our units. So 60 tests and two hours. So our quantities are 60 and 2, and our units are tests and hours. And this must be equal to, if we want to find the unit rate, and a denominator of 1. Okay, so we know that 1 times 2 is 2, 
So what number times 2 gives us 60? Well, if we divide 60 by 2, we are left with 30. And if we include our units, it is 30 tests in one hour. That means it takes the teacher one hour to grade 30 tests or that the teacher can grade 30 tests in one hour, okay? So that's all I have for today. I hope you guys learned something very valuable from this video. And once again, if you guys want extra problems on this topic or any other topic, please feel free to visit our website at www.bromancesmathclub.com and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!